What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Scale News Update. If you're not familiar with the show, this is where we talk about the news topics that happened in the scale world of RC over the past week. If you enjoy the Scale News Update, hit the like button and let's jump into this week's topics. First up for this week, Scale Metal Supplies is now offering a fixture table. Now this is for those of you who are into fabricating mainly. And the purpose of this item is to give you a base so that you can place your tube work and hold it in place while you're fabricating. They're also offering a number of fixtures of different heights and sizes and types to make it easier for you to hold tubing or bumpers or wherever it is in place while fabricating. Cool little piece, I'll link to it in the description below. You can go check it out as well as the fixtures that they offer. If you're not familiar with Scale Metal Supplies, they also have a number of fabrication tabs as well as flat plate bumpers that are pre-cut and all you have to do is fold them and then braze or weld them. A lot of cool items. Check them out if you've never before. Again, link to them is in the description below. This week, Vanquish Products released the new IFR beadlocks. The first of this line is the Slim IFR. Now this is a ring that goes on the inside of the outer beadlock. This is a ring that keys into the outer beadlock ring. This does require that the outer ring is an IFR ready ring as it's got a few notches that are machined into the back side. You need to make sure that you have an IFR ready outer ring and then you can choose the IFR inner ring that you're after. The inner ring will key into the backside of the outer beadlock ring and allow you to bolt it all together and sit nice and flush. As I mentioned, the IFR Slim is the first of that beadlock ring system to be offered and it's available in all of the colors. As mentioned, if you're upgrading some wheels that you currently have, the outer beadlock rings are available as well, again, in all of the available colors. Check those out if you're looking to customize your truck just a little bit further. Also available this week are some new Vanquish Products Land these are a lanyard with a mid span clip so you can remove your radio or whatever you have attached to the lanyard. Throw one of these in your cart while you're checking out with some IFR bead locks. Also last week, MST finally released the DC-1 equipped rig. Now that DC-1, we've been seeing photos of that teased for months and months. This is that Land Rover Discovery style and it's finally available. Now this is on the MST CFXW platform. Platform looks fairly unchanged, except you do have new style axle housings on this that are more fitting to that Land Rover body. It is listed on the MST website with all of the details. I'm not seeing it hit too many of the stores yet, but I assume that now it's been officially released, we'll start to see rollout to the stores that you typically see carrying the MST products very soon. Once I see it hitting stores and popular websites, I'll make sure to recover that story. Night Customs just released a whole pack of parts that you can print for your Charisma Prairie Wolf body. This is listed on the Knight Customs My Mini Factory. And in there, there's an interior set. There's a you know rear curtain wall to go behind the interior to help close it all up. There's a couple of different styles of grills. There's also some other exterior details to really make this an Overland style van. We covered the Prairie Wolf body a couple of weeks back. It is available now in an RTR as well, but if you're looking to pick that rig up, add a bunch of scale detail, Knight Customs has a single download for you where you can get all of it at once. I'll link to James's My Mini Factory in the description below. Any of you guys with 3D printers and that van body should definitely check it out. HPI is releasing a new BRZ body with the fat lace livery available on it. It is a clear body coming with graphics that you can apply yourself after painting, but Another item that is actually new from HPI at this point. We did see the re-release of the Savage last week. I did get to see both versions of it in person last week at the NURSA convention. From what I was told while there, they are working on more projects, on things that are actually new as well. So maybe we're going to see something more out of HPI. Body options alone, not the most exciting thing. So I have to kick back, keep waiting, see what they're gonna release that's finally new. A 1 10th scale body from Killer Body was added recently to the A-Main website. And this is an articulating driver figure that was added that is molded in a clear plastic. So you've got to paint it yourself and detail it up, but actual articulating figure, it does say that is 1 10th scale. Now, 1 10th scale is how most of our rigs are classified, but 
not often do they scale perfectly to 110 scale. Sometimes they're closer to 1 8 or 1 9 somewhere in there. So this driver figure could look a little small, but it still may fit in a number of custom builds that just need a driver figure to fit in there. Now I don't see what the weight of this molded figure is, being that it is solid, clear molded material and articulating. It didn't appear to be a hollow clamshell type version or anything like that. So, so again, I have to imagine that there's, there's gonna be some heft to this. But if you're looking to detail your own figure, this could be a good option. It's very generic kind of racing driver look. So if you're not into the superheroes and wrestlers, then this could be an even better option for you. A link to it as well as the rest of today's stories in the description below. Make sure and go check that out. Last week, J Concepts released two new class one legal tires. These are both sub four inch tires and they released the hunk and the tusk. Neither are licensed tires. Both have some kind of familiarity with full size tires, but neither are actually licensed. The one definitely has kind of an interco look to it. The other one, I can't exactly place it. it it's got some like Hyrax look and I feel like it's got a full size tire that it kind of looks like as well, but nothing specific that I could pinpoint. Either way, I saw these in person again, also at the NURSA convention, seeing them in person, compound felt good. The tread pattern felt fairly good. They have other tires that have worked well for them with the landmines and the bounty hunters and uh, tires like that. So this could be popular. Now it is under four inches. So if you're trying to push the boundary of class one, these are almost a quarter inch shy of that. So definitely not at the limit of that class, but another solid option to give a shot. Speaking of J Concepts, also at the show, they had on display an IROC Z no prep body. Seen it in person and the images that they posted online, it actually is a solid looking body. They did a good job all around. It looks like an appropriate body. It's got a nice flat hood, so it doesn't have the bulges that the Proline one had that a lot of people didn't like. So something a little bit more classic in that way. So if you wanted a more factory looking IROC, here's your option. And the other no prep body that was officially released is that Proline GTO, the Pontiac GOAT, officially released with all of the details and photos. Another great looking body from Proline. Nice front end detail. They did a great job capturing the front end style of that vehicle. This is gonna fall right in line with bodies like the Nova and the Cuda. Proline had some other new offerings on display at the show. They had a brand new 124 scale K10 body. It's a nice kind of full width, very scale style body. It's a step side version with kind of a short bed look, fairly different look than the C10 body that is offered on the SCX24 already. I believe that this is also a later version of the Chevy pickup. So gonna be just another option that Proline's putting out. They don't have a ton of 124 scale bodies. So with the popularity of those, I could see more options coming from them. At this point, I'm kind of surprised that the only option we've seen so far has been that power wagon. Displayed on that K10 pickup, they were also showing off their new 1.0 sized high racks and bead locks. These are gonna come in a set of four pre-mounted. They are a bead lock wheel. On the back side, it only takes three screws to dismount or mount each of those tires. The little Hyraxes looked great. They're not overly tall. They fit kind of in between the height of the BFG crawlers and the Nittos that come on the SCX24. So kind of a middle ground there. So if you were looking for the tallest option, this isn't going to be that, but if they're Hyraxes that work anything like their 1.9 or 2.2 counterparts, they could be a great tire. More info on these surely to follow quickly as they had them on display there. So definitely has to be just around the corner. Speaking of 124 scale tires, RC4 Wheel Drive released two new styles as well. They released a Mud Basher and they released a Swamper TSL Bogger. Classic style there. RC4 Wheel Drive tires seem to be pretty popular in the 124 scale world. They work really well. The Mud Bashers are a Chevron style tire. They offer those in 1.9 and 2.2 as well. So just rounding out the line with another size option. And of course, TSL boggers we see in every size tire available. Why not here? Those two tires are already available right now on the RC4 Wheel Drive website. Seems like they're both options that are ready to get thrown in the mud, which I have to imagine would almost destroy an SCX24. Last week was the finale of the SCX24 budget build-off from Matt, the Scale Builders Guild, and myself. 
eight week series all done. We will have running footage of those vehicles coming before too long. The series was a lot of fun. Eight weeks flew by. If you didn't catch the finale yet, or you didn't watch any of the series, go back, catch it all at once. Now it's all available. You can just binge all the way through. Make sure and come check out the live takeover with Matt and I every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific. Also, just our weekly show about whatever's going on in the market or outside the market or whatever video series we have going on at the time. 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. We're going on like 80 plus weeks at this point. Last weekend was ProLine by the Fire. It was an amazing event. They put on a fantastic show and the turnout was amazing. Definitely the biggest scale RC event that I've seen in a really long time. And again, they did a great job at organizing that event with tons of mini events going on. Just overall, they did a fantastic job. I'm glad they were finally able to get that event off after the cancellations and delays. It was worth the wait. Had an Absolutely awesome time. Thanks for everyone who stopped by and said hello. Can't wait until we get to do that event again. If you get to plan on one event next year, it may be at the very top of my list. But that's gonna do it for this week's topics. For this week's question, we are rounding out the year here. We're almost to October already, which means that the holidays are right around the corner. I've already seen them putting up Christmas items in some stores. So with that in mind, what is the one thing at the top of your holiday list right now? RC related. What is that one RC item that is at the very top of your list? Whether you're hoping to buy it for yourself or you're gonna try and get someone else to buy it for you. Post it up in the comments below. As always, I appreciate you guys watching the Scale News update every week. Thanks again for joining me. Hit the like button if you enjoy these videos. Subscribe if you're not already and hit the notification bell so you see the videos as soon as they get uploaded. As always, thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next one.